Welcome back to the Off Grid family. Today we're doing, we're making a brooder. Why are we making a brooder? Because we've got a baby chick. Yeah, when did it hatch? Yesterday. Yeah, night. Last, last night. So we need to make a brooder. Basically it's just a box to keep it nice and warm. And you want to vary the levels of temperature as they get older, or as it gets older. So, what do we need to do? Yes. Don't know. Yeah. Good girl. <laughs> okay, so these are the bits I'm going to be using. I'm also going to be using this big tub. And I'll talk you through all the little bits that I've got here. And then I'll explain where, what I'm doing and talk you through it. So I've got a heat lamp, a heat bulb and a ceramic um, holder for it. Be careful that it has to be ceramic because if a plastic one would melt. I've got a thermometer with indoor and outdoor temperature so I can um, gauge the exact temperature on the inside. I have a power cord from an old lamp which obviously has a switch on it. Non-slip mat is imperative. Um, if you don't have non-slip mat or something that stops the chicks slipping um, they'll get splayed feet or the splayed legs and all sorts of other nasties that can be avoided just with that simple thing. Um, I have a rod which is going to be the main thing that holds the heat lamp on. A piece of metal which I'm going to connect the heat lamp to and to the rod. And then various other bits and bobs. Now these things here, I'm not sure if I'm going to use them, but they just happen to fit exactly across here. So um, I may end up using them as supports for the a partial bit of roof or something like that. I'm not entirely sure yet. So what I want to do is I'm going to have this connected into a bench top vise. I'm going to have this piece of metal connected to it. And then I'm going to have that piece of metal connected to the lamp. So first off I need to drill some holes in this rod um, that either correspond with some of these. I might just do it sideways like that. It doesn't have to be straight. Let's have a look now. This is where we do our testing. Okay. So, okay, so I've decided whereabouts I want this uh, on, on the pole. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drill all the holes out but not connect it. So I want to actually bend this piece directly down the middle. So that, um, just to about a 45 degree angle so that it's holding the lamp directly above the chicks and everything like that. Um, I'll explain more as I go, as I do it. <laughs> now what we want to do, though, is put it on here, okay, and then we pop the pop rivet through like this, like and it goes through both. Can you see that? What you need to do, though, is line up the holes. Look. Once I've lined up the holes, do you want to put this in? Yeah. From then. Put it through that, that through the fat end, yeah, that's it. Put it through there. That's it, let go. Twist it? No, no. Then you take this. I twist it a little bit. Watch. This one and then it pushes it Make down. sure that's still in the hole. Then it pushes it down. Can you hold this for me? Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, it won't be very hard because I'm trying. I'm not very good at holding things, I'm not very strong anymore. Oh, you're still very strong. That's better, isn't it, Daddy? Yep, yeah, hang on. My hands are bright white, white. Right. Daddy, my hands are bright white. Right. Yep. That's better. Look. I held that very good, didn't I? Yep, yeah, look there. It's riveted on there now. Riveted! <laughs> okay, so there we go. That's what it's going to be like. Looks almost like a scoop of some kind. Now what we want to do is attach this to it. And luckily enough, the holes on this line up with the holes on here. So I'm just going to get a couple of bolts once I've wired it up. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is tin these ends. So let's get this on. So all we need to do is tin the ends. So we only need a tiny bit of solder on each. Tiny bit. Like, you know, I'll show you in a minute. No, you can't hold it like that. Oh. Can I hold to, it like... No, because the heat will travel up if you if we hold it too long. That's it. So, like this. 
And again, we're just going to touch it. It should, hopefully, want to coat itself. There we go. There you go, that's one. Over to here. And some dropped on the table. But that's the table? The table, I said. It sounded like table. I said table. It's okay, though. Who cares if we make a mistake? Yeah, I just said sometimes we make mistakes, I was going to say. There you go. Ow. So that's them done. I hurt myself a little bit with heat. Yep. You heat yourself. <laughs> One day I hurt myself then. with heat, heat, heat. That's that done. Now we need to wire her up. Daddy, and I Lily. just had a bit of a heart attack then. Right. It was a light reflecting on that stuff. And I was like, oh my gosh, it's flashing with red. Mm -hmm. I was so scared. Next thing we need to do. That's going to be, I'm steaming a little bit. We need to wire this up. You're confusing the chick. You just said right. you're confusing Yes, the I did, chick. didn't I? Basically, it goes here. Mm -hmm. So, do you want to screw this in for me? Yeah, talking of the chick, it's sleeping. It is, isn't it? Yeah. Right. Um, it took a whole... No? Took lots of days pecking it open without sleeping. It did, didn't it? Which way? Uh, that way. If I can hold it, it would be. That's easy. it. Well, do you want me to come closer to you? Yeah. We need to. Go get it in. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. It is a bit of a difficult screw, actually. Can you start it off? That it just get it'll just get harder and harder, love. Oh. Once, yeah, it just keeps slipping out, doesn't it? But these have to be made sure they are super tight. Why do you think? So they don't wiggle around? Yes, yeah, so they don't come out. Because if these come out, that could be really, really bad. And the chick just woke up again. It's a very naughty chick, actually. Cheeky. Is it? Yeah, it's very cheeky. Cheeky chippy. Cheeky right. chick. Where's our scoop gone? What, what's a scoop? Oh, this thing. The thing we've just made. Okay, so... The next thing we want to do oh, then... Oh daddy, it could be a shovel for scooping up mud because it actually looks... It could actually scoop up mud. Could, couldn't it? Yeah, only if the holes were not there. Well, it'd still scoop mud. It just wouldn't be very efficient. Okay, so the actual pop rivet came, uh, got really loose, so I've drilled it out and I'm gonna, I'll do that again in a sec. But I thought, well, while it's out, I will actually try and connect this up to it first. Okay, so there's that on the thing, on the pole. Now what I want to do is just secure the wires so they go down the back out the way. So there it is, that's just the main heat lamp like holder. So I'm going to put it on and we'll have a look at it, see how it works. There you go, that's the general idea. And the heat bulb will come here. So, and because it's connected to my bench top, Vice, I can raise it as the temperature needs to be lowered but from about this height it gives about 100 degrees Fahrenheit which is exactly what they need so now on to making this a bit more hospitable okay the next thing is to stick this down I just don't want it getting all tangled up in it you see because I'm using a small um, Glue gun, I'll just do it in sections. Just has to stick it down so that it can't get caught underneath it. I doubt it will, it's just an extra precaution. Now this is pretty much done now, we've got the heat source, we've got the um, the bedding. Uh, the last thing I want to do is make a little house for it and it's just going to be an old piece of cardboard box. That's going to go in like this and then I'm going to fill it with 
disposable liners which are like for nappies and things like that which are quite good for them um, and also I'm going to use shredded newspaper and some kitchen towels all of which are absolutely fine for them um, and then I'm going to have the heat sort of aiming over this side but so that it will fill up in here also I've got this piece of wood which I would like to place across like this and that means there will just be a little bit of a trap where the air get um, the hot air gets caught and can't go you know go straight out so as we know heat rises so I'm going to get one of these pieces of metal I said earlier and I'm going to connect it across like this just so it's got somewhere to hold the piece of wood on go okay so that'll just give somewhere for the piece of wood to sit on it's not going to fall in kind of thing um, the next thing I'll do then is fill the house with um, bits and bobs like I said now these baby liners they're just almost like wet wipes but they're dry and um, I found that they're absolutely fine for them they're unscented I'm just going to plonk them in and it just gives them a nice soft you know bedding to curl up in Now I've bought um, bottle nipples for, so that they can have, uh, so that she can have something to drink. I'm saying she, because I'm hoping it's a she, um, but it hasn't arrived yet. So I've had to make my own water feeder kind of thing, which I'll show you in a minute. And if you're interested, I'll show you how I made it too. Um, but next, then we need to test it for temperature. What I need to do is get the bulb at a certain level, test it, because for the first week. They should be around 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, so what I want to do is I want to test to see where the lamp needs to be to get that heat. Okay, so here's the setup. The heat lamp is now on and heating the area up and we can just keep our eye on that down here. I've placed one, the probe of the thermometer just down there so that it's near where it would be sleeping so I know that that area is getting the proper te the temperature so we we'll just keep an eye on that now I have already run tests but just working out the exact height this needs to be because obviously with it in the bench vise I can move it and I can lower it if I need to okay it's been on about half an hour and the temperature is slowly and steadily climbing but I won't put the chick in until I know it's got to its maximum because I don't obviously want the chick to get too hot um, and I've put another piece of wood on it just to make sure that there's less heat escaping I've checked the temperature and it was at a steady 95 degrees Fahrenheit which is absolutely acceptable um, I've literally just put her in now she's already tried the food and I'm hoping she'll try for the water in a sec Thank you. 